Uncle Roger. I want to see his reaction to Jamie Oliver egg fried rice. Jam in rice. This is disgusting. Who put jam? Hello, niece and nephew. It's Uncle Roger. Today, Uncle Roger gonna react to this video requested by so many niece and nephew out there. It's Jamie Oliver making egg fried rice. Jamie Oliver is professional chef, very established. Everybody know him. So Uncle Roger think this one is gonna be good. I've been to many of his restaurants. Before we start with Joe, niece and nephew, please smack the like button now like you slap a bag of rice. Don't make Uncle Roger sad. Smack like button. Now let's start the video. Egg fried rice, it's an absolute classic. And I've got a... Two seconds into video and I already see saucepan hiya. Where your wok, Jamie? Where, Where your wok? wok? Egg fried rice need to use wok because you need the wok, hey? Many people asking Uncle Roger, what I don't is have wok? Pen like this. It is the breath of wok. When you cook with wok, the wok gives the food flavor. Get the wok, hey? No such thing as saucepan, hey? Jamie, you have 25 cookbook, but you can't afford one wok. Uncle Roger send you one wok for free, Jamie. No problem. I absolutely love Imagine this recipe. Imagine, really yes, you can do this as a side dish. No trouble at all. But actually, it's heading towards being a really beautiful dinner. So, wait. Yes, you could do this as a side dish. Jamie say, egg fried rice is side dish? When Uncle Roger going up, when my mom make me egg fried rice, that is the main dish. I never tell my mom, oh, mom, this egg fried rice is only side dish. Where the main dish? Where the main dish? I would have been beaten to death. I finally slice this up. Bro, you can tell your mother <coughs> critiques about the food she's preparing. He will beat you for sure in my country too. And as this pan gets nice and hot, I'm going to go in with one tablespoon of olive oil. And what? I don't like fried olive oil. Just use normal oil, bro. From a corn or something. One tablespoon of, of what? I'm gonna go in with one tablespoon of olive oil. Olive oil for egg fried rice? Same bro. Who use olive oil for egg fried rice? Why are you making salad? Olive oil is like white people oil. Not suitable for Asian dishes like egg fried rice. And I'm gonna go straight in with the onions. And we'll get them sizzling straight away. And no, 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 no. Spring onion is garnish, it's garnish. You put spring onion as the last thing in your meal, not Why the first thing in the frying pan. Hi, the fresh. We'll get them sizzling straight away. No, Jesus, you don't this is professional. Spring onion. Nobody sizzles Chef. spring onion. If you cook spring onion now, it will wilt. It wilt. This should be garlic. First step should be garlic. This first three step all wrong already. I thought you professional chef. You have website and everything. Uncle Roger don't even have website and Uncle Roger know you fucked up. And then I've got some packet pre-cooked rice. Yes, you can cook your own. Packet. This guy owns so many restaurants and he still can't be bothered to make his own rice. Packet rice? Imagine if you go to Japanese restaurant and you ask for noodle and the chef give you instant noodle. That is th what this guy is doing. And rice, white rice 12 minutes. But for stir-fried rice, you have to drain it and chill it. Uh, you have to chill it. He correct, but drain don't don't drain rice. Uncle Roger made a whole video, twelve million view now of Auntie Hersha draining rice. Don't drain rice, but chill rice correct. Forty five second in, first thing he got correct. So for me, that feels like a good cheat. You can hear it sizzling. You hear sizzling, I hear my ancestors crying. It's fast, it's hot. Bro, it's this onion it's with olive oil. Right. Oh, Uncle Roger don't like the look of this. He taking ingredient from this drawer and it's, this drawer looks so white because Asian ingredient never come in jar. You ever notice that? Asian ingredient always come in plastic bag or bad packaging. If your packaging look this nice, nice jar, nice bag over there, then it's not Asian ingredient. Next ingredient. I have this in my home all the time now. Chili jam. It's what I tell you. It's not Asian ingredient. What are you doing with chili jam? Let's see. Brilliant for cooking. We it's have these things here, but because it does something sweet, it not make it Asian, bro. 
but it's also got the sweetness and it's going to kind of glaze. Oh, no, 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 no. Pudding jam in rice. This is. Guys, <laughs> I like to eat weird things. Like some gems with something sweet and salty, but in the rice. It's disgusting. Who put jam? First of all, what is chili jam? Uncle Roger, no fresh chili. Ch chili. Chili jam is good, bro. Chili jam is good. Oil, chili flake. Never heard of chili jam. Is this how you trick white people to eating chili? You give them fresh chili, they go, No, 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 I don't actually like chili. Give them chili jam and they go, Oh. Chili jam is so weird thing to use. Jamie, do you know about sriracha? This is Asian chili. Just use this. No need to use jam. What are you gonna put in there next? Peanut butter. Okay, why do you go bake PB and J egg fried rice? How many things can a chef get wrong in one video? Hiya! Two nice teaspoons go in to our pan and then just start tossing again. He tossed very poor, but he tossed all the wrong stuff. All style, no substance. That will start to coat every single rice grain and it will shine in the most beautiful way. And then just give it a little splash of water. Wait, what? What? No. In the middle of cooking, you put water. Oh. Bro. I just say, if your rice too wet, you fucked up. But if your rice too dry, you also fucked up. At this stage, just push the rice up the side of the pan, like that. And then straight into the middle, we're gonna crack in two beautiful free range eggs. Okay. Okay, the egg look good, egg look good. And then it's time for the last ingredient. You can't pack the an egg. To a lot of people. He reaching for that shelf again. So Uncle Roger, don't think it's gonna end well. Uncle Roger, just don't like that shelf. I think it's wrong shelf for egg fried rice. Maybe during filming, they put the wrong shelf there. And Jamie's like, oh shit, you bought the wrong shelf. What I do now? And the filming people are like, we don't care. Just use whatever in the shelf. People is a bit of a new ingredient. Tofu. To Firm, silken tofu. Tofu? Bro. Why your tofu in juice box? Who make your tofu? Capri Sun? When Uncle Roger buy tofu at Asian market, always come in plastic bag, plastic seal wrapping. I no have never eaten tofu. Look like juice tofu, I think. What are you gonna poke straw and drink your tofu? Fifty grams, and what you can do is just break this up. No, and as no, it cooks, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he make Uncle Roger put my leg down from chair. Baking tofu like how Auntie Helen baked Uncle Roger hot. Asian cooking. When you cook tofu, you preserve the whole shape of tofu and serve to customer. This video, so many sad things happening. He wastes the spring onion, he wet the rice, and now he tear apart the tofu like paper. I don't know if Uncle Roger can go on. This depression is too much. I want chunks of egg and I want little bits. So the nice thing about this stir fried rice is it's kind of random. What he say? What he say? The nice thing about this stir fried rice is it's kind of random. Random is not compliment. You make food for your friend one day and your friend say, why your food so random? And Jamie say, oh my God, so random. Gonna start restaurant. Season with a little salt. Give it a little toss. To Bro, salt, okay. <laughs> but so the I'm problem making... is his restaurants are still working and he's making a lot of money. I'm not sure if the food is good or bad at the restaurants. I have never been in some of his restaurants, but I just can't understand why people like him so much and I have no idea. But Uncle Roger talk about MSG too many video now. Mix it all up and then we're ready to serve. Get a bowl, put a little oil. This guy love olive oil like how Auntie Hersha love colander. He put olive oil on everything. Do you shower with olive oil also? Don't go get massage from Jamie Oliver. He will put olive oil on your body. Rice dishes and that kind of street food, which is beautiful. It's often associated with being unhealthy. This has been made to be healthy. If by healthy you mean disgusting, then Jamie, you are right. You could have that as a meal. I think it's the time to have a little. This rice looks so wet. Look at this. You can see your reflection inside. Mulan is gonna start singing when she sees this rice. So silky and delicious. It looks fantastic. 
but it's really good fun to make. Jamie is professional <laughs> chef. All the steps he messed up. Does this guy hate rice or something? What else have he done with rice? Oh, this guy, I think he just hate rice in general. Maybe he's sponsored by Potato Company. They are competition. Mm. Uncle Roger don't like this Jamie Oliver recipe. Too wet, no garlic, no MSG. He break the tofu, no wok. Is and this is a professional chef, guys. If someone like me <clears throat> do a cooking stream and do <coughs> all these mistakes, nothing wrong, but someone with a lot of restaurants or something and this is the owner oh. all wrong subscribe to Uncle but he's maybe hiring better chef than him to work at the restaurant so maybe always good uncle roger channel for more video see you next time bye bye <laughs> hello ah yeah this why is so annoying uncle roger hate recording video like this niece and nephew if you want to sponsor uncle roger airpods let uncle roger know send me airpods po not the cheap airpod regular airpod airpods po only uncle roger like the good life uncle roger it's a very funny guy i really like him